Hi everybody, Vaping Nathan here, and today we're going to be doing an update on the E-Leaf 50 Watt. I do love this little device. I have been using it for well over a month now. Haven't had any major issues. However, the paint on it, I don't know if you can see how dinged up that silver coating is. It is ridiculous. I like all nice and shiny things, and that is just horrible. But, um, other than that, I have no major complaints. The button is a little touchy, but all devices have their flaws. So, it's just one of them that is the same. Now, I have been using this, like I said, for a long time. I do enjoy this device, and I have the accessories for it. Um, I kind of stopped using it as much. I tend to use my uh, EVIC VTC Mini or my MVP 60 watt, my MVP 3 Pro. So, this just kind of fell to the back burner. My husband uses this a lot, though, so that's all that matters. The battery on it, still amazing, still lasts the full day. I don't know if you can see that really, but if you're not right, like I'm pressing the button there and it's not reading it. There we go. But again, I'm pressing the button. You can see that it's pressed in and it's not firing. So unless you're right on the middle of it, it doesn't fire. I am running the new Milo 2 tank on my 50 watt with a 0 .3, 0 .3 ohm coil and I am running it at 30 watts. Love that this puts out so much vapor with any atomizer you have on it, sub ohm or above ohm. Um, I do run both. I have my, um, I've run my Nautilus, my Nautilus Mini on these, my iClear 30S. Works fine with everything I use it with. Overall though, it's a great little de device, especially with that 5500 mAh battery. It is ridiculously long lasting battery. Four days. It lasts four days. Um, my husband's using it all day. And you can see there, the battery life on it is still really, really good. That Milo 2 tank though is chucking the vapor with their regular coils. I have not tried the temperature control coils yet. I'm waiting for the update video to do that. So, stay tuned for the Milo 2 review as well as e -Leaf 60 watt temperature control. And then we'll be doing update videos on both of those as well. If you want to check out my schedule, go ahead and head on over to VapingNathan.com. My review schedule is on my main page as well as all the reviews I do in blog format. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the subscribe button. It's right there. Just click on it. So you can get updates on all of my videos. And if you enjoy vaping, please join one of the many advocacy groups out there. There are links below so that we can fight for our right and have the products that we have now in four years. As always, I'm Vaping Nathan and have a great day.